With workflow automation, teams can automate their entire remediations across their tools and services in response to alerts and security signals directly in Datadog's unified platform. Let's see how Datadog allows you to easily set up a proactive alerting system that automatically resolves service-related issues in your web store application. To ensure the seamless availability of our web store services, we have created this monitor to track Lambda function errors. Now, whenever the error rate surpasses the predefined threshold and the monitor enters an alert state, we want to automatically trigger a workflow that performs a redeployment of the Lambda function as a remediation. So let's see how you can easily build this workflow. You can either create the workflow from scratch, or to get started quicker, leverage one of the many available out-of-the-box blueprints. We provide 40-plus blueprints that are specifically designed for customers managing complex cloud-scale operations. These blueprints cover essential workflows ranging from security, DevOps, incident management, remediation, and more. In order to remediate the issue with our Lambda function, we want to create an automated workflow that deploys the previously stable Lambda revision. For that, we will use the Perform Deployments with AWS Code Deploy blueprint as a foundation. As you can see here, the blueprint already provides you with a predefined series of steps for an entire end-to-end -end process. With our user-friendly interface, you have the flexibility to effortlessly modify and customize the workflow using over 300 automated actions by clicking on the plus between the steps. These actions cover key technologies, services, and tools such as AWS, GitHub, Slack, Cloudflare, and more, allowing you to perform automated actions across your entire stack. Now let's configure our remediation workflow. We start the workflow by assigning an automated trigger that will execute the workflow from our monitor. Each step of this workflow is easily configurable from the configurations panel. Some of the fields are already pre-populated for us, so we only have to do minimal configurations. Steps can be configured so they enrich the workflow with relevant pieces of information, facilitating remediation for responders. For example, for the workflow we are building, the first thing we'd want to do is bring in our on-call responders when our monitor goes into alert state. So in this step, we configure a Slack message that automatically notifies the responder and provides them with useful context from the monitoring environment, such as monitor details and the impacted services. This information is dynamically filled into the Slack message when the workflow is triggered. We also want the responder to be able to approve and deploy the revision with a single click of a button, right from Slack. We can easily do that by adding decision-making options. That way, responders can quickly understand the scope of the issue and make informed decisions on the appropriate remediation path. Keep in mind that the responder may not have much knowledge about the affected system. Therefore, in order to accelerate the remediation process, the workflow can be configured to automatically identify the revision path that allows the responder to deploy it with just one click. To achieve this, we utilize the JavaScript data transformation action and add a script to the workflow that extracts the name of our affected Lambda function directly from the monitor and uses it to identify the correct revision path. To make things easier, we're going to use a saved action that we configured and used in the past to help us configure this step faster. This revision information will then be included in the Slack message. That way, the responder is able to easily deploy it with one click directly from Slack without having to spend valuable time searching for it. If the responder then approves the deployment in Slack, the workflow will automatically trigger the deployment in AWS Code Deploy. To do this, we just need to configure the authentication of the AWS action by selecting the correct connection from our available connection list and select the correct region. The workflow then checks the status of the deployment in AWS Code Deploy. If it's successful, it will continue with the next step. If not, it will revert to a fallback workflow, in this case, sending a failure message via Slack. At this point, we actually want to modify the blueprint and add another step in our workflow before sending a confirmation message to the responder. Since workflow automation has direct access to real-time monitoring data, the workflow can leverage it to autonomously make decisions on how to proceed. In this case, we don't want to manually check back to see if the remediation was successful and the monitor was resolved. Therefore, we are adding a step that checks the real-time status of the triggered monitor to determine if it was resolved after redeployment. We just need to configure it to check our specific Lambda monitor and set the condition that must be met before proceeding, which is the monitor not being in an alert status. If the monitor is resolved, it will then confirm the deployment. Lastly, we quickly set the channel for the deployment confirmation message and now our workflow is ready. We can now add our workflow to our monitor and use the testing capabilities to check if our workflow works properly. This will fire a test alert that mimics the alert from this monitor. As you can see here, the workflow has been triggered and we can follow the execution in real time with successfully performed steps indicated by the green ticks. You can also see the workflow is currently waiting at the Slack approval gate. When we check our Slack channel, it shows the Slack message that got triggered by the workflow, prompting the responder to approve or reject the deployment. 
Once we approve the deployment, it will then trigger the deployment in AWS Code Deploy. Going back to our workflow execution, we can see the deployment was performed. The workflow verified the revision was successfully deployed and the monitor was checked to ensure it's no longer in alert status. Finally, a confirmation was sent to the responder, completing the end-to-end -end remediation. And just like that, something that would have taken you a significant amount of time to execute manually across multiple tools during remediation can now be easily automated within minutes with workflow automation by Datadog. If you already use Datadog, you can get started immediately in the application. Otherwise, sign up for a free trial directly on our website.